How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Sometimes You called I Want to Go to Mars, and you're looking at five bucks on the PlayStation Store with eight total stacks. This is a little bedtime storybook style point and click adventure game. It's definitely more geared towards kids, so if you've got one of those around, this is perfect for you. Think of this as a bedtime story replacement that you can get a platinum from, and all the art is hand-drawn, and there's plenty of references for us adults to chuckle at. Trophy-wise, this is as simple as it gets. You just have to finish the game. There's no branching paths or anything like that, so nothing is missable. And the puzzles are made with a small child in mind, so it's super easy to get through everything. Going in completely blind, this took me right around 20 minutes to finish, so that's really not that bad for a point-and-click adventure game. No running commentary for this one, it is narrated, and I figure you won't really need a full guide for this one, but if you just want to put this on for your kid to watch, that works too. That'll do it for me though, everybody. Super simple, easy, cheap, fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number of platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 963 for me. The Rover? The Living Quarters? The Watermaker? The Alien Biolab? But it's too late. There is nothing they can do. Robin and Teddy curse the rain for what it has done. Robin slumps down in the sand with Teddy. That gave Robin a bright idea. Robin had heard about a magical place that never rained, and Teddy had sat through dozens of documentaries about sand. Robin and Teddy decide they need to rebuild. They want to go to a place that's always sunny, a place that never rains, that never runs out of sand. They want to go to Mars. Robin and Teddy set out to build themselves a rocket. Using the parts around them, they carefully select the parts they want to use. Robin added a new part to the rocket. After tireless minutes of work, Robin and Teddy's rocket is finally finished. They can decide to head off now or keep customizing until they are happy with it. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one.
Approximately 8.7 seconds. Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. The moon had been expecting them. Pom 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 pom. Pom 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 pom. Bum, 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 bum. The moon thought deeply. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. The moon was so happy with Robin and Teddy. He decided to pass them straight through moon customs and sent them on their way. And just like that, Teddy and Robin headed for Mars. And so they went, Robin and Teddy, Teddy and Robin, on and on through space and time, closer and closer to glory, to triumph, closer to the red planet itself. It was as if nothing could stop them. This was their destiny. They were finally... Finally, Teddy and Robin... They finally... Where in space is that beeping coming from? Teddy, Robin, and narrator annoyingly notice a beeping noise. They decide to stop monologuing and explore the ship to find the source of the noise. source of the beeping and are shocked to discover that the ship is super low on star fuel <coughs> listening to pal 3000's words of wisdom robin rushes to the airlock to collect star fuel
Robin knew they couldn't stay here forever. It was time to get a move on. It was time for them to find stars of their own. With Teddy manning the ship, Robin stepped out into the cold vacuum of space in search of precious star fuel. collected all the star fuel they could ever need. It was time to... Hold on just a minute. What is that? Disaster has struck. Teddy, using his old T-P-S, has driven our heroes right into the Schwarzenegger a steroid field. takes a base of action to dodge the A steroids. a rock. growing up. puts Teddy in the corner.
after their accidental shortcut through the Schwarzenegger A steroid field, Robin and Teddy were nearly at Mars. Maybe sometimes, unexpected things just happen. If Robin and Teddy wanted to arrive safely, they would have to fix their spaceship first, using their super high-tech awesome multi-tool! At last, the ship is fixed. Time for Robin to talk to the companions and make sure they are all ready to arrive. is go to the bridge and press the Arrive button. Our heroes had done it. They had made it. They had finally arrived. After all they had endured, it was time for our little astronauts to turn over the page. and begin a new chapter. And so it was. After rain and hail, buildings, rockets, customs and moons, lights and warnings, stars and fuel, asteroids and multitudes, our heroes had arrived at Mars the place that's always sunny. The place where it never rains. That never runs out of sand. And while their trip may be over, their journey has just begun. <laughs>